I'm going to show you how to create this simple portfolio. So as you see, I have three sections here. And once you click each section, then you'll see the different photos. So let's say here in photography, I'm going to click on this and light box appears. So you can swipe right and left and go to another section. You can find this widget in Adobe Muse. It's not a third party widget. So you guys might be thinking now, like where in Muse can I find it? Because you are familiar with the widgets, but you are not sure which one I have used. So the trick is that I've combined two widgets to get this effect. This is something great you can do in Adobe Muse. You can combine some widgets and you can get another result. So I'm going to show you how I, I did this. So let's go to Muse. And here I have my swatches. These are the colors that I'm going to use. So first thing, we're going to the widget library. And first widget is featured news. So drag it here. So of this featured news widget, we're going to use the triggers, which are these. And then I'll show you how to add the other widget, which is a, a light box, a light box slideshow. We're gonna um, we're gonna get it in this other widget. Okay, so we're gonna combine them. So let's we're gonna I'm gonna work with this one first and show you how how to do it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the trigger points. Let's say leave it here. Great, same distance, and okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the different sections. So I'm going to edit the trigger points. So this is why I got the swatches here, because I can get the colors I've chosen really, really fast. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the sections here. So First of all, is I'm going to click over the the text. Sorry, I'm going to click over the box here and I'm going to set it to to normal. So, first thing is type section name, section name. And I'm going to edit this a little bit. So, I'm going to center it, bring it up to 30. Sorry, you have to select this first. Bring it up to 30. I'm going to choose a different font. And also I'm going to choose a different color, which is going to be this dark green here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so whenever it's normal, I want it to be that dark green. But whenever it's active, I want it to be this light green. So... Go to the text frame and switch it to active now and change the color. Same size and everything, but change the color. Okay. And now there's a box around the text box. So I'm going to edit this too, okay, because I want it to be in normal. Um, see here how you see there's a fill. I don't want any fill. And I don't want any stroke either to bring it to zero. Okay. But whenever it's active, whenever it's active, what I want is I want a two pixel stroke and I'm going to open this and unlock it because I just want the line from the bottom. And I'm going to change the color to, to this yellow. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to do this same thing with the rest of the sections.
Okay, so now in each section, what we're going to do is we're going to delete this content box because we're not going to need the content box. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the other widget, which is a, a slideshow, a light box slideshow, and we're going to get it inside this widget. So the only thing you have to do is open the widget library. I'm going to use the, the, the light box, so just drag it inside. See how it turns into like a darker blue? So just let it go, and that's how you get it in. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move the elements here. Don't mind, really mind about this one here. What we're going to do is first Okay, select this box and I want it to be a light box, no captions, no counter, no next, no preview, and show light box parts while editing. Mm, don't really want to, so, and let's get this to edit together, yes. So let's go to the thumbnails now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make this wider, up to here. Well, let's say a little bit less. Okay, so I'm going to get these thumbnails, I'm going to get them bigger too. So let's say approximately... Okay, let's leave it here. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Make the containers a bit bigger so everything will fit. Because I'm going to get like, you know, two lines of, of pictures, so it will be like six pictures and they have to fit in here. So now the only thing that I have to do is Oh, just that one thing here in layout, make sure you've clicked on light box, okay? So that's how you'll get the, the light box effect. So we're going to add the images. And I'm just going to choose six images. And open them. So I'm going to think to keep the same proportions and same distance and everything. I'm going to leave a mark there with the ruler. So I'm going to preview this to see how, how it's looking. Okay, we've got nothing in photography, nothing in illustration, but here in design we do have our pictures. So we're going to click over one of them and we get the light box. Okay, great. So let's go back to Muse and do the others. And please, the important part about this is that to get this effect, Use this slideshow and make sure you have this light box clicked, okay, selected. It's really, really important. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other sections. I'm just going to drag the widget and do exactly the same thing. So resize the pictures. Remember, light box has to be clicked. I um, don't want the counter captions and I don't want to show the light box part while, part while I'm editing and okay just gonna get the ruler out too back to photography and get this content box a bit bigger so I have the proportions here And I'm going to use the same size, so for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Resize and type 344. Okay, so this is the same size as the other pictures. And of course, select six other pictures.
And now I'm going to do this last section, OK? So I'm doing exactly the same thing. Drag out the light box widget. So I'm going to unclick Previous, Next, Counter and Captions, leave the thumbnails, leave Lightbox, and show Lightbox parts while editing. I'm going to unclick this too, OK? So I'm just doing exactly the same steps. I'm going to make the container bigger. So it has the same proportions and size as the other, other sections. These thumbnails, I'm going to resize them so they also have the same size as the other ones too. And just add the images. All right. So I'm going to preview this. So you guys see it's exactly the same as I showed you before. Okay, so sorry about the swatches here. So we got photography. Oh, remember that this, you know, I've resized and optimized um, the pictures before, adding them to, to, to these widgets. So let's see if the light box works. Yes, perfect, smooth. You actually have a whole bunch of options. Yeah. Great. Because I decided to to delete the captions and and the arrows, because I just chose it not to use them. But you can include them here too. And also, for example, you've got you can change the transition. Here was fade. You can choose horizontal or vertical. Let's say well, how it looks with horizontal. and the speed, how the transition will work. Okay, let's go to illustration. Okay, see, you have different effects too. So, hope you guys liked my trick. Thank you very much for watching.